Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing great. My name is Mercy and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that Every time I upload a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate. Now, my people, you know, I am here to give you some more stories about the royal family. But you know what? In whatever I am talking of, just know that I am always by the side of Harry and Meghan. And my people, you know, I want you to listen to this. So I have just been thinking of something. You know, currently we have a lot going on. We have Kate being in hospital and my people. Yesterday I was talking of a story, you know, Kate was actually advised not to even talk of the details about her health. But my people, as much as they were advising Kate not to speak up about it, again, we had already got the information of Kate is actually going through a lot, especially the mental health. We were actually told she is actually mentally broken down. And my people, you know, that thing actually led to a lot of questions. And personally, you know, I was asking myself, I can recall the way Megan was going through a lot. And the main source of all this, part of the causes of the mental health issues that came through Megan's way. You know, Kate was part of that. And recently we, we were talking of Kate and Charles and the skin color of Archie. You remember that? When they were actually named as the royal racists. And my people, that is part of some mental health issues to someone. That is definitely you causing someone to be mentally unstable. And the worst thing is that that was actually a child. Okay, as much as we are talking of that, we have Kate and we already know she is actually suffering mentally. So you know, I always tell you that William is someone who is actually so inhuman. He is actually doing things the way he wants. He is favoring himself and he do not even care of other people's situations. Now you just heard Kate Middleton, his wife, suffering mentally. And I can just assure you that no other person caused that except William. William himself is actually the cause of all those. Anyway, my people, I even do not care much about it because they are a couple, you know. They know how they are dealing with things. Probably William know why he is doing so. And my people, for us, we are just here to analyze and see. Because these people never expected such things to actually come their way. They only wanted Harry and Meghan to suffer in a way and they never expected that it will one day come to their lives. So we are here to look at it in details because some things are just karma. Many things are happening because someone somewhere actually shed tears because of you and then you just expect a very smooth life. It's not going that way. And you know, the media, the British press are also part of all these stories. They have been out here talking of Harry and Meghan and even their children. You can just imagine the way these people are so inhuman. Making the headlines, even using the young souls, you can imagine Prince Archie and Lilibet Diana. The young babies, honestly, what do they know? What have they done? But the media have always been there to make headlines out of their names. And my people, you know, 
Now the same same media, they are now begging William himself to actually visit Kate in the hospital, despite the fact that he has visited her once since she was actually admitted. And my people, it's her, it's actually two weeks. We were told Kate is going to stay there for 14 days. And basically that is two weeks. Now the media themselves are convincing William to maybe show up at the clinic. But my people, I will just tell you the truth. William is not caring at any point. I even do not know what Angela Levin was talking about. Because she said that William is actually suffering mentally because his wife is sick. And my people, I will say that is a lie. Angela Levin is always making her own stories. Anyway, we understood her. I feel like Angela Levin is making her own things the way even she feels like. She do not understand her work. But anyway, just as I told you, William is not caring. And now the media are begging him to go to the hospital to visit Kate. So this media definitely expects William to show up there so that they write something about William in a positive way. Maybe to show us the way William is so concerned or something. But already we can see. Okay, I was just comparing some things. We had Charles going to the hospital, the same, same clinic. And my people, we were told that he is going to spend few days there. And you know, Camilla already went there three times to visit Charles. But guess what? William has gone once to see his wife. So I was just talking of Camilla. It's not that I am supporting her. But I am saying that if at all Camilla makes this effort to see Charles and we are told they are living separate places, you know, their residence is actually in a separate locations. But my people, she has made that, at least she has made that effort to be visiting Charles. Now, what will William say about this? First of all, William himself has not even taken the kids to maybe go and check up on the mother. But anyway, my people, you know, I really do not like judging by myself. I really appreciate when I give you chance to also judge this together. You will have to comment down below your take on this. What do you think the media really wants as they convince William to visit his wife? So do you think the media are so concerned of Kate's health or it's only that they want to write something positive to show us the way these people are in love, William is caring or something? But anyway, for me, I just see this. It's a proof that these two are leading separate lives. My people, as much as they are still under a roof, I will tell you for free. They will go separate lives very soon. They won't take time. For the media, they will continue being desperate for news. And you know, they do not want to say that William has not gone to the hospital. So they are actually begging William to go there so that they publish this. But anyway, whenever they see Harry alone, you know, they just come up with some theories. Talking of Harry being alone and everything. A lot of things, my people, you understand. But for William, they are just pushing him for the positive things to come out of him. My people, I just had to share that with you and so that you can get a chance to also judge in the comment section. So basically, that is the story for today. And my people, up to this point, allow me to end it here. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. Kindly subscribe to our channel and also like this particular video. Stay safe. Until next time, it is a goodbye.